Oh, no, you... You better be quiet. I don't want anything to do with you right now. I'm sorry. Hey, what's happening, guys? My name's Brett Hero Dan, and welcome to Taito Ecology, a game where you have this awesome biodome, and inside of that biodome, you create your own biome. Granted, it can't be like a desert in one zone and then a rainforest in another. It's all gonna be one big zone. Right now, I don't know if they plan on changing that, but I played through the tutorial because I finally got the game to work. The devs worked really hard with me to try and solve the problem. It turns out that an update today actually just fix the problem for my graphics driver, so whoa! But I played through the tutorial and I bought a bunch of different stuff from the different biomes because I sucked really bad at the tutorial. I ended up doing it a couple times just to learn. I ended up getting, I wanna go ahead and I wanna do a rainforest biome. I started in the Great Plains, this biome right here, and I, I, I gotta do the Himalayas at some point. I think that'd be awesome. Actually, I wanna do the Himalayan forest biome. But I already started getting stuff for the rainforest. Turn the tutorial off, I'm tired of doing that. I know how to do it. We're creating a rainforest, and I'm gonna call it the Soggy Rainforest. There it is. Yes. Oh, perfect. Soggy Rainforest. That works. Everybody knows what it means, damn it. Woo! Awesome. There we go. Yes. Okay. So, what you gotta do is in any sort of biome or ecosystem, you guys know you learned this in school. I know what you're thinking. Oh, Dan, don't bring school into this. Well, it's shit that I remembered. It's shit that you guys are probably gonna remember. So. You have, in any ecosystem, consumers, producers, and decomposers. It's always good to build producers, especially in this first. Ferns, uh, if I remember correctly, ferns are rather big here. Oh, there we go. Look at that. Oh, oh hell yes. Let's go up. Yeah. Oh, there it is. I'm going to place some ferns here. We got to get a bunch of ferns. Remember, you're going to need a lot of producers to match your consumers. Consumers are the shit that eat producers. And then some consumers, like... Carnivores are the shit that eats the shit that eats producers. And then, if you have apex predators. Apex predators are the shit that eats the shit that eats the shit that eats producers. But for now, we're just gonna go ahead and put some producers down so we can get some consumers going in here. Oh, I wanna pause it. Well, no, if I pause it, I can't place these. Fine. Oh, damn it, no, I wanted to put those there. Don't take my ferns from me. I also unlocked zebra plants, pineapples, and orchids, because this is one of the ones that I did the tutorial on. I think I unlocked, like, the entry-level uh, predator and some turtles and uh, uh, other things, like really long leg rodents. Oh, no, I got to wait for my points to go up. Let's fast forward it some. Bam! There we go. Look at that shit. Get my points going. I need some more of these Taito coins or something to unlock other things. Okay, so we're gonna have some more orchids. Orchids are beautiful. I like the way they look. There. Place them. There, we'll place them there. That's fine. I didn't give a shit where they go. So, once we get these guys down, let's take a look and see what we got. We need moths. Moths pollinate. They help our plants reproduce. Without moths, you can't really... It's gonna suck. Flowers won't create seeds and, vi and all of this. You know what I'm saying? So you need moths. You need pollinators. But at the same time, if you have... Too many, I mean, ideally in an ecosystem, if you have too many moths or shit like that, they'll eat all your plants. They'll eat everything else. You know what I'm saying? So you have some population control effects in this game as well. But I think the perfect thing to start out with is an agouti. These guys, the little rabbit guys that I was talking about before, they have a pretty big range. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to make their range right here. Boom. Pa! Look at these guys. Look at them. Just, oh, you're squeaking, you precious little shits. Go ahead, eat all these ferns that I put here for you. They got a lot of leaves on them. We need some more producers in this biznatch. Put some zebra plants in there to diversify it, dude. Diversity is beautiful. Diversity is is just, it raises intrinsic value of things. You know what I'm saying? Like we, I mean, diversity means that there's more different types of life and we like that kind of shit. Oh, look at my little agouti. I didn't know they could cross a river. Wait a second. If I'd known that, I would've put plants on both sides, man, instead of just confining them to one space. What the shit? Any more ferns? All right, well, well, I want to finish up over on this side. No, don't, don't place. There's too, they're too large if you place them there. Why are you so spread out? Man, I wish there was a way to change it, like hitting a button or something like shift or, let me see, shift. Oh, well, maybe that, I, maybe I just got lucky. I don't know. Okay, something else to look at. We already have producers, plants, things that produce energy, and we have consumers. There's entry-level consumers, guys, that eat these producers. We need to look at being able to break down the detritus, the decay, the dead shit. You know what I mean? A lot of times, other animals will help with that. Ants will help with that. Mushrooms really help with that. Oh, these mushrooms should cover this whole quadrant. Or not quadrant, but this whole zone, if I'm not mistaken. Well, for the most part, anyway. I can get it. I can kind of line it up using the center here a little bit. Let me get you guys 
Something about right there. That should be a good even distribution. We'll place that right there, and then I'll cut down on the detritus. They gotta break it down. They gotta turn it back into nutrients for the soil, stuff like that. You need the detritus. Uh, decomposers. There. Okay, so ferns, zebra plants. We need more zebra plants. One right here. There we go. Look at that. Oh, yes. Oh, gorgeous. Maybe I should put another one, huh? Have a, have a good... Why is it, like, the same? Uh, I don't like the way that looks, man. It's got to have some randomization. It's got to look different. There we go. Oh, yes! Oh, look at that. Bam! Even got one over here by itself. More ferns. And then, let's see. We can put out a couple ferns over here. I'll leave the beaten path right there. Need some more orchids. Need some more ferns. Perfect. Yes. Dude, look at this agouti way over here just running around. Little precious. Why are you hungry? There's so much food everywhere. Eat. Eat, little agouti. Okay, I think it's time we add... We're going to have to add some moths. I'm going to put some moths over here with these, with these plants. Yeah, we'll get a good... We get a good population of moths. Um, I kind of want to center these guys. Well, that should work. Yeah, we should have a little something like that. Just be able to, to get bah, all these plants pollinated. Look really good. Maybe I'll add some frogs in a second. I don't know. I might just make frogs eat all the damn. Oh, we want more turtles. Do we want turtles too over here? Yes, dude. Tortoises. Remember, tortoises aren't like turtles. They can't. Not all of them can swim. Hell, I don't think any of them can swim. So don't throw them in a pond or something like that. Because they can't swim. Only turtles can swim. Tortoises don't do that. They walk. And speaking of walking, look at these guys. The rest of you are lazy bastards. These guys are ready to go. Be careful. You can't swim, dude. So you better hold your breath. They can hold their breath for a little while, too. They're good. They've got this. Come on, man. You can make it. Why are you smashed into the ground? I don't know if they were supposed to be like that. But... Well, at least we get to see their shit. No! Look at our mushroomy mushrooms just doing mushroom things. I like the diversity in mushrooms too. And I like that mushrooms are all over the space uh, in which they are placed. Like, you know, the big giant territory ahead? There are mushrooms everywhere. Like, they're, they're popping up all over the place. And I like that. I like that they're not just like one mushroom right here. And then that symbolizes that it's going to cut down on all the detritus everywhere. So, I think it's time. I want to take a look. Oh, shit. Hold on. We got some points to spend. I wanted to kind of develop this land. I think I want to fast forward a little bit. We got to kick We got to kick it forward some. A couple months or something like that. We can't just have... Oh, oh, come on. Just two more points there. We can't just have this biodome like this forever. Um, so I forgot how to do that. No, it's right here. So, I want to take it. Um, I could always unlock a zone. No, I don't have nearly enough title coins for that. Uh... I think I'm, I think, I think, I think, therefore I am! Ah! Okay, I think I want to run forward. I don't have 30 coins. We're just going to do it a week. Confirm? Yeah, let's skip forward a week and see how our biome's doing. Our biome's fine, and I earned seven back. Cool. Uh, I guess I'm on a losing pattern, but hey, that's awesome. <laughs> I think I'm going to go ahead and put some more plants too. And then I'm going to look at getting more of these consumers in here. And I, I'm pretty sure it's time we add our entry-level predator, which, if I'm not mistaken, this one is an ocelot, or a group of ocelots, two of them. And they just kind of hang out, and if I noticed in this the tutorial, it was telling me, or it, like, explained, well, I don't know if it explained it, but it did happen. If a group of animals reaches its maximum occupancy in this game, like, uh, let's say these agouti, where are you guys? Right here. If they hit 18 and they continue to reproduce, it'll actually create a separate group automatically, if I'm not mistaken. So, you know, once population starts to get too bad, you need some population control. And ocelots will do it! Boom! Let's place another group of a Gaudi over here. Because they do take a little while to reproduce in, th in terms of days. You know what I'm saying? And if there are two ocelots eating uh, every couple days, I mean, I only have groups of 12, groups of 6 of these yellow-footed tortoises. Um... So they're gonna they're gonna kill them. They're gonna exhaust all of them. Maybe I should wait until these guys start reproducing No, no, I think it'd be good to, to introduce a predator sooner rather than later I still don't know necessarily what ants do in this game I know what they do in real life like I said They're one of the the animals or insects that do help with detritus They eat decayed stuff break it down put minerals and nutrients back into the soil But I don't rightly know what they do in this game. So I'm gonna actually put where am I putting these guys? If I put them in the center, I think I'm going to put them right here in the center of this island. Bam! Yes! Pow! Ant Island! Give you guys some pineapples to snack on, too. I know you like them. You like sweet things? Hell, you'll eat anything, really. I wonder if they're grass cutter ants. Are you going to cut grass and cultivate it into fungus? That'd be cool as hell. Look at these little guys just running around. Or little girls. like They're just circling like weird asses, okay? It's like Mountain Doom. It's like a little volcano. Calm down, ants. You're, you're out of control. Here we go. Go ahead and put you some ferns around 
to protect you there. Now, enemies and the sunlight and stuff like that won't come and kill you so fast. There's only 200 of you, I think, anyway. Which, those must be big-ass ants. Can I just say that the music in this game is like, oh, so serene. Like, listen to it. Just listen for a second. Oh, and you hear the background. It's like, it's so calming. I love it so much. But I'm too hyped to be calm. So let's go ahead and slap some orchids right here. It's like a Bob Ross painting. Some happy little orchids and these happy little ferns. All right, guys. I think it's time we add an ocelot to the mix. And if I'm not mistaken, yeah, this ocelot, its entire hunting territory is going to be in this one small section of the entire biome. Look at that. The biodome. That, yeah. So this ocelot, we're going to put it right there where the mushrooms are. Oh, I can't. Shit. There. That's where the ocelot's gonna be. It's gonna be able to hunt any small prey or any, you know, smaller prey that is in this entire area. So I'm gonna have to go ahead and start expanding. I'm gonna go ahead and pop this out, add some more ferns around like I was doing. There we go, start placing them. Start getting some more vegetation out because I'm gonna have to increase my populations of various animals as well. Uh, bah, let's get you. Put some more tortoises maybe over here or something like that. Those guys are awesome. I love them. They just meander around much on leaves through their tortoisey goodness. I don't know. It'd be kind of hard for an ocelot to eat a tortoise, wouldn't it? I mean, tortoises have hard shells. I know. Well, no, yeah. Probably not an ocelot uh, group. Probably we'll put another group of a gaudi or something. You know, I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too. I'm sure it's a goody, but a gaudi sounds funnier. Okay. Oh, look at this pair of pixelated predators just walking across this little tiny river. This is gorgeous. I wonder if there's a waterfall in here. I don't know. Come on, keep walking, guys. Let's keep going. No, no, don't drown. Just put your head above water. There you go. Wade through. Wade through. Why are you guys going over here? There's no food over here. You're ocelots. You eat meat. The food is all over this way. Like, it's all a plethora of delicious buffet agouti over here. Oh, it seems the ocelots have already started on these agouti over here. Oh, no. Their population is down by one already. Well, that's fine. We'll just have to add more vegetation. Uh, let's put some more orchids over here, too. Get some more vegetation out there. Get some more agouti running around. That should be fine. As long as there's a, a good group for them to eat. You know what I'm saying? They should be able to reproduce in time. I hope they'll be able to reproduce in time. I can't have the entire population of my agouti disappearing because two damn ocelots. Okay, we have 40 points. I really want to unlock a tree. Let's get this Amazon flame tree going. Yeah. Oh, and its cost is only 20? Well, guess what? Um, no, I want to move you over. Yeah, something like right here. Bam. Okay, look at this tiny little tree. That's fine. That's actually perfect for these ocelots, though. They can use it. These give fruit. Oh, shit, they give fruit? I don't have any frugivores, though, or anything like that, do I? I there are omnivores in here. I'll have to unlock them, right? Herbivore, herbivore, omnivore. The Codemundi? Oh, shit, what's that? I want a Codemundi. Uh, the peccaries are, are herbivores, only cougar. Oh, shit, I can get a cougar. I get a jaguar. Oh, the apex predator. Well, really? Well, no, I take it back. I was going to say, really, an anaconda would be an apex predator in the Amazon rainforest. But at the same time, jaguar hunt and kill and eat anaconda. Damn it, I should have saved up and got the papaya tree. Oh, but this one, the flame tree gives more leaves, man. Oh, I get an acai palm. Oh, no, and a straggler fig. Dude, you can get all kinds of fruiting trees. I guess the best thing would be if I can get a lot of fruiting trees, I could get a lot of Cotamundis or something like that. Um, I'm definitely probably going to need a millipede because they really, really hammer down detritus. Look at that. What are my detritus levels? Hold on. Let me take a look. Um, oh, dude, I don't even really have detritus because these guys also eat the stuff that causes detritus. I'm pretty sure. As long as it's near their, their anthill, they'll eat it. Uh, so how are we looking? You guys, you're not too hungry. 90%. You guys, oh, your numbers are dwindling. I need to go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and add another group of a goatee, a goatee, a goody, a gaty somewhere. Let's find out. Um, you. Yes. We're going to put you guys right here. And, you know, you're, yeah, you're just going to hang out right there. Bam. Place. And I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to put some more ferns and stuff near where you live, too. Yeah, I won't. I'll, I'll hold off on the trees and just get you some ferns to munch on, guys. Look at my snoozing ass tortoise half buried in the ground. Hopefully they'll fix that because I want to see the rest of the tortoise, man. Okay, it's time to add some more trees. Bam! Amazon flame tree. No, no, right there. Yes, place. Perfect. Oh, that is like the perfect junction for a tree. We'll put another one right here uh, on this island. Oh, it's coming together. It's looking so good. I love it. I love it so much. I'm going to keep adding some more zebra plants. Bat. There we go. Some more orchid. Oh. 
Oh, I don't have any more points. No, I gotta wait. Oh, the guardian has arisen. The guardian Agudi just rose from the orchid shrine. Oh my god, dude, that's ridiculous. Okay, so I have some more points. I think I want to put some more. I want to definitely get some more trees in there. Just extra vegetation for these guys to eat the leaves off of. Some more ferns, stuff like that. And I want to look. I'm probably going to save up and get another predator, guys. I don't know what kind of predator I want, though. Oh, let's put that right there. Hold on. That was a good place for it. Yeah. Boom. No! Damn it! Go back! There we go. Uh, 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 ah! There. Yes. Place it. You said you could place it before. Why are you not playing? <sighs> Fine. We'll do this. I feel so bad because this population of Agouti seems to be the only ones that are getting predated on by these bastards. Oh look, we have some stuff that is taken care of because it's just detritus. Dead Agouti. I'm glad it's still hungry. Oh my god. Oh man, those carnivores. Those sons of bitches. Where'd they go? I thought they were supposed to be eating some of these guys too. Oh, they are eating some of those. Damn. Oh, hey, what was that? I heard a hiss. I heard a- are, are you attacking? Are you hunting? Where? Where's that ocelot? Damn, girl! Ocelot of ass! Oh! Seems I found the ocelot and it fell asleep right after it ate. That damn agouti, agouti. That poor thing. These guys are just getting their asses beat. I definitely need more. I think I'm gonna put- Look at that. My points are at, like, max, too. I think I'm gonna put some more of these guys around. Some more agouti, because I have a shitload of vegetation. I'm gonna go- The zone is- I know, I know. I gotta unlock that side. I'm gonna put another population of them over here. Yeah, something like that. Boom! And I'm gonna add some more vegetation. Um... I need to get, I, I need, I think I need one more population. I don't know, I have a lot of three over there. I have two over here. I think I can put one more right here. Boom, and have those bitches get predated on all day. And then we should be fine. There's the other ocelot just running around. Or is that the same one? Okay, I'm sorry, shit. I'll never ever look at you again. Let's go ahead and put some more grass, some trees down. Do we more of these? There we go. Oh. Oh good, I'm glad the ocelots thought to feed the starving mushrooms the delicious lobster dinner. I think I'm gonna leave this episode here, guys. We got a lot done in our ecosystem. Look at this. It's not quite the rainforest I want it to be yet because it doesn't have a lot of trees. But at the same time, this is just one zone. Like, there's gonna be many, many zones. See, I can unlock more zones. They just cost a lot of coins. And I would rather unlock a lot of biodiversity than unlock more zones right now. I'm not necessarily hurting for space so much as, like... I'm hurting for biodiversity, man. I want more than just ocelots and agoutis and ants. I should probably look at putting little tiny frogs in here. But at the same time, like, I'm afraid they're going to eat all my ants. But anyway, thanks a ton, guys, for checking out this video. If you enjoyed it, boom, like it. And leave a comment down below to let me know how I'm doing. But don't think that this is goodbye, because I'll catch you guys in the next batch of videos. No thoughts. You're tired as shit. How do I get rid of tiredness? Is there something... Uh, maybe... There wasn't anything in the tutorial. Maybe I need more benches or something like that. I don't know. I'll have to put some more benches places. Oh boy, I sure like going on the Alpine Coaster. By the time it ends, it'll be my fucking birthday.